and I try to look back across my career and imagine what were the things that made it possible for me to stay the time and stay excited and get to the point that I'm at. That is why I made these videos. That's why these three skills were the ones that I chose to show you. Hey friends, CloudBard here, and as the name implies, I'm pretty into cloud computing. Not just Amazon Web Services, even though I got the cool little swag on from reInvent, but any sort of cloud service. I love managed services. I love the notion of enablement. I love the notion of being able to democratically make new innovative technologies available to people who need it so that they can do awesome things with it and we can keep pushing this industry forward. These are some of the things that make cloud really exciting for me. And so in this little video here, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, the CBT Nuggets intro to IT courses, in particular, my cloud technology course, who they're for, um, you know, what you're gonna try to get out of them and maybe kind of how to consume them because frankly, there's a lot of good information there and we wanna make sure that we get those out there to the right audiences. So what I usually try to get started with in the cloud conversation is recognizing that unlike a lot of other technologies that you may have or may have not run into over the years, um, a new authentication mechanism or a new data store or a new server platform. Those are often slices, little pieces of the information technology world. There's lots of different facets that we could find ourselves getting into. What's weird is that when people start looking at cloud computing, they try to follow the same pattern. They're like, okay, well, what slice of information technology is cloud computing? <laughs> and if you try to apply that analogy there, you're going to find it doesn't work very well. And that's because cloud computing is really more of a superset of technologies than it is any one particular slice. So while we might be thinking of it as a pie slice for cloud, this is kind of a broken concept. Instead, I like to think of it more of as an umbrella service where you can imagine many other facets of information technology being underneath of and encapsulated by those uh, a cloud computing world. And so this is really the part that was exciting for me because as I got into the cloud computing industry, I realized just how fantastic a vehicle was for exploring the information technology world. And when I look back over my career, part of the most important things that I did along the way was look for emerging technologies, look for a way to be involved with those emerging technologies, and then get trained and jump after those technologies and build careers out of them. In fact, interestingly, at my one of my first gigs at Lithium Motors, I created a position for myself simply by being there, making sure that when they installed their voice over IP system, I followed those installers around all the time sometimes not getting my tickets closed the way I was properly supposed to be. But I knew that this was an important thing that was happening to the business and I wanted to be right next to them. So I spent as much time as I could being right next to those guys, learning what they were doing and asking, hey, how can I get involved? How can I do this myself? So cloud computing allowed me to continue doing that same exact thing. Look for new technologies, look for ways to get involved, get trained and build something out of it. So fast forward a bunch of years later, now I'm training across a whole bunch of different cloud technologies. And when I just think back over the last year of what I've done with just my AWS content, I've covered databases, I've covered virtualization, I've covered web architectures, I've covered security, I've covered data analytics, I've covered countless other subjects all underneath of the umbrella of cloud computing. And I think that this is really, again, one of the most powerful things about the cloud computing industry. So I really try to encourage people, again, don't think of it as a slice of the pie. Instead, think of it as an umbrella that encapsulates really almost all facets of the information technology world. And really, if you ever read up on cloud computing, you're gonna find people call it a disruptive technology. This is exactly part of the reasoning behind that terminology. We say it's disruptive because it touches all of the aspects of information technology, and it offers something for everyone, but be careful. It's not ever going to be everything for any one particular organization. And so this is exactly the road that I get to walk as a solutions architect, helping people navigate what is and is not a good fit, making solutions alignments across the myriad tools that are available from AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, and of course, on-prem hybrid style solutions as well. Now, hopefully you're maybe getting kind of excited here thinking, well, that, that does sound kind of cool. Maybe I, I would love to explore technology through an industry that allows me to dig into different types of specialties and different types of arenas. How do I do that? Now, this is exactly where the CBT Nuggets intro to IT courses come into play. Back in early uh, January, maybe it was spring 2019, we released a series of intro to IT technology courses on the CBT Nuggets YouTube page. In fact, if we jump over there, 
Uh, get on Google. You can take a quick look. CBT Nuggets YouTube. There you go. And jump onto the CBT Nuggets YouTube channel. Great. And if you scroll on down, you'll see there's intro to networking with good old Keith Barker. Look at that guy. Love him. There's Garth. Intro to databases. Jacob Moran working on virtualization. DevOps. Cloud technologies. And hey, there's that funny bark. Look, they didn't, they didn't even put my hat on these videos. <laughs> they hadn't given me full uh, release on using the hat quite yet. Um, but here we are. Intro to IT. The goal here, and we kind of called these our bridge courses originally when we created them, the goal was just to help connect the dots between people who are maybe sticking their foot in the water, maybe testing the temperature of the IT industry and figuring out what part of this huge monster of an industry do I want to be a part of. So this is kind of the first thing to keep in mind. If you're, you're, if you're new to IT, definitely the right model here. We're not trying to lay a bunch of heavy information on you necessarily. In fact, when we put these courses together, the goal was step one, get people excited about technology. <laughs> now, that part's usually pretty easy because people like their gadgets and they like their tech stuff, but getting them excited about working on and supporting these tools, a little different aspect. And of course, here at CBT Nuggets, we put all that personality stuff out there and we really try hard to be enthusiastic and get people excited about this industry because because I'm excited about it. I love it. Keith loves it. Jeremy Chara loves it. Network Chuck loves um, these industries that we're a part of. And that's one of the things that really makes a difference with the type of training that we provide. So jumping into the intro videos here, will give you a chance to kind of experience some of what we believe to be the interesting parts of these industries, because we want to get you sold on it. We want you to believe that it is something that's going to be worth the evening studying at home. It's going to be worth the time reading those books. It's going to be worth the time to watch those videos. It's going to be worth the time to make that payoff happen down the road. That is what we really wanted to do with these videos, give you enough oomph to get you through that initial push. Once you get into training and working, that's where you get to get that network going. That's where you got to keep growing um, the people around you to help keep you enthusiastic, all of which we really try hard to help support as well. Now, one of the interesting things that happened here is when you look at my Intro to Cloud Technologies playlist here, um, they kind of made me assign titles like what are cloud technologies? What jobs are available? What cloud skills are essential? And uh, indeed, this cloud skills, essential cloud skills lesson here was one that I got kind of beat up on um, quite a bit. A lot of people were watching this and they're like, wait a minute, what skills is Bart telling us that we need here? This doesn't make a whole lot of sense. In fact, if you scroll back to the beginning of the video, here you go. Boom, tools, communication and problem solving. Now you might be looking at that list thinking, where was Bart going with this cloud computing skills? And indeed, if you read through some of the comments, a lot of people are like, what a waste of time. This wasn't worth it. <laughs> and I think it was just a problem with the audience in the job titles here, because what I was trying to say here wasn't what skills do you need to be successful in cloud computing, but rather what sort of things should you be interested in in order to make the long term commitment to staying involved in this? Because let's face it, you can go and learn networking. Sure, that doesn't necessarily keep you excited about cloud computing in the long term. You can go and learn about databases. And again, same thing true. That may not be enough to keep you excited over time. So in this lesson, I was trying to instill the notion that you want to love tools. You need to be passionate about communication and you need to be passionate about problem solving. If you are interested in those things, then information technology as a whole has a lot to offer you. And that was really what I was trying to get across in this particular video. I wasn't telling you to learn <laughs> what a tool is or what communication is. I was just trying to get us excited about the importance of those particular traits. If you can develop a love of tools, a communication skills and those problem solving skills, you're going to do very well in the information technology world. And really, all of this kind of comes back to me thinking about what made the difference for me throughout my career. Hey, because I've had a career that has led me to a point where I have a job that I very much enjoy uh, that makes ends meet in the way that I want it to and gives me an opportunity to sit here and gas about all this fun stuff with you guys here on the Internet. So I think myself to be fairly fortunate to have been able to come across all of this. And I try to look back across my career and imagine what were the things that made it possible for me to stay the time and stay excited and get to the point that I'm at. That is why I made these videos. That's why these three skills were the ones that I chose to show you. It was my love of tools, my passion for communication and my interest in solving problems that kept me engaged in the information technology world long term. And that's really what I wanted to try to impress upon here. One of the other things that I recognize as well is that as you get into information technology, especially cloud computing, you're going to find there's lots of different 
facets of it, as you heard me mention earlier on. And this is why one of the most important things that I try to encourage people to do is be excited about the nature of using a new tool, identifying the problem that it can solve, and then whoosh, connecting the dots. That's what that love of tools was all about. It wasn't about you understanding how a hammer works. It was about you understanding what you can build with a hammer, because a hammer is a wildly simple little thing that can create wildly complex things as well. Same idea. You could take a simple piece of compute power like a server and you could do simple things with it or you can do massively complex things with it. That is where that love of tools come in. If you see a tool and you want to know how it works and what sort of problems you can solve with it, then I think you're on the right track. The other part there was communication. I'm really passionate about communication. When I look over my career and think about some of the skills that made the biggest difference in me being able to be successful in IT, communications was absolutely critical. The idea that I can process of what others are saying to me, process the documentation that I need to consume, um, and then regurgitate that or re, uh, re-describe or maybe uh, translate that into something that somebody else might be able to understand and consume later on, or maybe take the ideas of my peers and turn them into something that's actionable. That communication skill went a long way to making me a valuable member of teams and also ensuring that I had a learning basis that allowed me to continue growing over time. So that's another reason why I put communications on here. It is absolutely one of the most important skills that I think you can develop, not just for information technology, but for being an employer or being an employee and working on teams. And that brings me down to the third one there, problem solving. And Let's face it, this one's pretty self-explanatory. If you like looking at problems and trying to understand the nature of the issue, the workings of it, where the friction exists inside of it, and what sort of things you can apply leverage to to help alleviate, adjust, or maybe completely overcome those problems, and you're passionate about that, that was what I was trying to point out here. Those are important skills that kept me longing to work with new customers, to go into new classrooms and hear about the learning environments that my students are coming from and stay involved with them. Again, looking for new tools, looking for ways to help communicate the purpose of those tools so that I can help my students solve problems as well. So in the end, uh, the intro to IT courses here from CBT Nuggets give us a great opportunity to see what you think uh, or to see what someone like myself is, an established professional, thinks are the most important things about some of these industries. And so in the end, I feel really strongly about the intro to IT courses. I hope you'll take a look at them and they're freely available out there on YouTube. And I hope that they do help you uh, with that solutions alignment. Beyond that, remember friends, I'm available. I'm only just a few clicks or messages away. So uh, leave me a message here on the video. You can reach out to me on Twitter at CloudBart. I'm also out there on LinkedIn. Look for Bart Castle IT. So I really uh, interested in finding a way to help you get where you want to go. And if you have questions, that's what we're here for as well. Remember, this is a world full of internet connectivity out there. You don't have to just sit and watch training videos. We are available to talk to. I'm only a, I'm only a few clicks away. So beyond that, friends, I hope you'll check out the intro to IT videos and keep learning, stay strong, and we'll see you in the cloud. Mm -hmm.